thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody who does tune in on a weekly basis. Uh, just a quick reminder, I'm not going to plug for uh, what Brad did Jason this week because uh, I've been able to add a little mini search thing onto it now. Uh, just to let you know that I, uh, the prequel to that is more or less halfway through, uh, so we'll be starting to see some more stuff from that soon. I did upload some test footage from it the other day. Uh, I've started the uh, Fallout modded gameplay playthrough as well. God, that's a mouthful in, in itself. Uh, and I'll be uploading them as and when I can upload <laughs> with everything else I'm trying to do. Uh, you probably noticed from my channel uh, over the last uh, two weeks or something like that, it's been content, 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 content all the time. So it's been a struggle to try and keep up with it all, especially with having uh, two kids. But I think I'm finally getting to the point now where I'm actually caught up. I've finished with the Saints Row Gat Out of Hell uh, uploads and now it's uh, just a case of waiting for the Agents of Mayhem uh, as far as the uh, volition titles uh, should go uh, which means I can put a lot more focus into the other main focal uh, focus games which I do which are Fallout, uh, Fallout Skyrim Mind just gone blank. Uh, GTA Online and then whatever I can fit time in for, uh, like in between, as well as doing uh, the actual movie. So, again, sorry that this intro is a little bit a uh, lot longer, but uh, again, thank you very much to everyone who has tuned in. Thank you for the support on the channel. And let's see if we can make this a <laughs> competition for any of the other guys out there who've become too big for their own boots. So, here we go. Uh, starting this week, we're going to be doing the characters. Uh, last fortnight, we did the buildings. And last week, we did the latest mods, this time uh, going into the characters section. Uh, I uh, Just quick, one last thing before I do start. On my second GTA gameplay video upload, I have included a list of mods that I do currently use now. Uh, I won't be doing that every single issue unless there's something new. So if you're watching this and you want to know what mods I do use, tune in for the gameplay, modded gameplay, uh, volume 2. And uh, right at the, the opening there, there's about a 15 second uh, interval where I basically list every single mod that I'm currently using in the gameplay and uh, as I come as I add new mods I will list them on that particular video as I'm just moving through. So anyway, I promise this time we are gonna get to them. Uh, as I said this is a character section so right from the start we've got customary cust consumables. What this has got to do with characters I don't quite know but uh, going off a quick scan of the page, uh, he did a complete overhaul of food, chems, meds in Fallout 4. Every, everything heals better, even in survival mode. First still exists, as does addiction, and he has cut back. Uh, he's cut most chem addiction odds by 50%. Uh, all plants grown at settlements do not cause radiation damage. Why would you farm any of these irradiated crops? Good point. Wild plants do cause minute radiate minute sorry uh, radiation damage as do snacks such as instamash other wild plants due to their mutations do not most also restore more health when eaten and then just goes as you can see there's a whole lot of different stuff which uh, I don't want to go through too much uh, TC mail for PlayStation 4 note this is not a texture mod it uh, changes the shape and other attributes of the face, but uses vanilla textures. Textures. Uh, you can see there, the faces do look slightly more improved on some of them, McCready especially, and Preston as well. But to be honest, Dance doesn't seem to look that much different, and there isn't any major screenshots on there. Uh, Periquesti is a face, a separate face mod for Dance, McCready, and Preston from the Companions Enhanced. Uh, finding Deku. This mod is for fun. Uh, find a place called Deku's Pal Place Palace near a vault and be surprised. Featuring new legendary weapon, new settlement, a new NPC, sponsored by Forum.com. No additional violence or adult content. Looks like something out of Super Mario. <clears throat> a pre-war Codsworth. 
Uh, this mod replaces pre-war cards with textures with his newer, shinier pre-war ones. Pretty simple. And so is the description of that. Uh, glowing Hancock. If you want Hancock to look like someone shoved a irradiated battery inside of his mouth, then there you go. Uh, Haunted Vault 165. Uh, as the world slowly begins to heal and uh, from the ravages of a devastating war, locations long thought forgotten slowly begin to emerge again as flood waters start to clear. The Brotherhood of Steel have found such a location not far away from Crude Manor. Vault 165 was one of the first vaults to go offline and disappeared from the area uh, around Crude Manor, sustaining horrific flooding, but now it's back and begging to be explored. The mod contains two quests and a vault to explore, but, and here's the big but, just like JLo, uh, <laughs> As PlayStation 4 players have already expected, the quest portion of this mod won't function correctly. That's because of lack of external assets, so you can't basically make anything, uh, do voice acting or anything. Uh, but he's unlocked the door inside the vault, so uh, that required terminal, so you can just go around and explore, loot the shit out of the place. And that's pretty much it. But there is a good sizable layout, if there might be some stuff in there that is pretty useful. MCOR, main character outfit redux. Uh, this mod adds high damage resistance outfits for quite a few of the game's main characters, even some that are not normally equipable. They are located in the green tote behind a tote bag that is uh, behind Dumlin Diner. Outfits in uh, include McCready's outfit, Kel's outfit, Corsa jacket, Co Captain Zhao's outfit, Grognak costume, Piper's outfit, Preston Garvey's outfit, Minutemen General's outfit, Tinker Tom outfit, DC Guard out armor to be worn over clothes of your choice, Kellogg's outfit, Lorenzo's outfit, Maxon's battle coat, and Valentine's outfit. Not Valentine, in case anyone's uh, getting confused, uh, is the detective. Uh, Nick Valentine. Uh, Aliens of the Commonwealth. For those itching to see aliens back in action in Fallout 4, this mod is for you. This mod changes the Federal Surveillance Center. Okay, I did cover this one uh, in something the other day. It's not really a character mod. This is more of a change into something. So I did, co <clears throat> I did comment that due to the quest mod, due to the quest, sorry, not quest mod, due to the quest mission that you can actually get inside of there, I believe it's for either the Brotherhood of Steel or the rail, the railway. Uh, I'm trying to think which one it is. Either way, uh, whichever organization it is, railroad, sorry, not railway. Uh, whichever one of them it is you work for, just be prepared if you haven't, if you install this before you've completed that mission, it might have complications inside considering the fact you're supposed to be going after synths inside of there. Uh, or going up against synths. Uh, some, some requested female presets from Vanilla. Uh, what have we got? Fortunately, there's no screenshots for this, so Avery the Raider, Tesla the Gunner, Rachel from Vault 81, Debbie from Far Harbor, and Caitlin Eldon from Nuka World. Just toss it together for the favor of someone, so basically it's just a bunch of preset faces. Armor dresses, simple as it sounds, this mod adds armor dresses, not really characters. Mods though. Uh, Wasteland Strife by Random Encounter. Random Encounter is a pretty good mod author so I'll, I'll give his mod the time uh, on this one even if it isn't to do with characters. Uh, this goal is the mod is to make combat deadlier. Headshots do more damage to non-mechanical targets and may, uh, many tougher creatures have reduced damage on other locations, fixed shells, hides, ghouls everywhere but the head. Uh, human NPCs from many factions have their maximum health reduced at higher levels, less endgame bullet, bullet sponges, player health scales much more slowly and is dependent on endurance than player level. This results in slightly, slightly higher player health totals in the early game and vastly reduced totals at endgame compared to vanilla. Player outgoing damage is raised and static across difficulties, but incoming damage scales up as difficulties increase, everything dies faster. Pretty much, there you go. 
Uh, Battle Apocalypse, Alien Invasion. <clears throat> Jesus. What am I mean? Uh, presents your attention a new global mod for the game for 4, Battle Apocalypse, Alien Invasion. Battle Apocalypse, Alien Invasion is a complete change to gameplay post-apocalypsis uh, world of the Commonwealth. The point is this, in the Commonwealth, it in the Commonwealth was absolutely alien invasion, okay. Uh, aliens have captured and destroyed most of the living beings and groups survived only well prepared. Right, okay. If that's just me, that didn't make sense too, then <laughs> don't be surprised. Uh, survival mode, reduced loot. Uh, Commonwealth bait shop. This basically, without going into too much detail, is a mod that will spawn a character. If you're trying to do the traps for the, the cages and stuff like that, and you don't want to go around hunting more rats and every other type of thing that's required, you can basically go straight to her and she will supply you with everything you actually need. Uh, she's on the right of Sanctuary Bridge as you're leaving Sanctuary. String Theory. What begins the noise is a Quest mode is not characters. Uh, Dominic's Doomsday Pack, not really again. Danger Rifle again, not really characters. Uh, Swan's Anchor, weapon mod really. Uh, Clean and Smooth, Nord Egg and Beak, Beach. Uh, Rocket House Blues, again, not a character. It's Clean and Smooth, Bunker Hill. Tribals, Tribals of the Commonwealth, okay, this is a bit more character related. Uh, more tribals changes uh, to tribal weapon damage. Uh, this mod adds tribal groups in the world. They prefer to live far away from society, are often found in the wilderness, and do not like to be disturbed. They will attack in case you get in the case that you get too close. For example, there is one group near USAF Olivia. Uh, the core of the face tattoo represents their faction function in the group. This is a work in progress mod so any feedback is welcome to his thing and then it goes on to list the different types of tribals uh, and uh, what they can do. As you can see from uh, little screenshots you can just about make out that there are little face tattoos and cores within each one. Why that guy's in the bathrobe I don't know when he looks like the crow. A uh, human version of strong if you want Strong to be a human instead of a super mutant. I'm guessing this might have something to do, to do with... No, I, I thought there might have been a quest behind it in order, uh, like you do with the guy who's out in the... Uh, the, uh, the wastelands uh, when you have to take back the FEV virus to him. Uh, a tougher looking Kate. Oh, I love a t-shirt. If you're looking for Kate to be more in the goth, emo, punk rock chick style, and there you go. Uh, chase presets from Far Harbor for face character faces. That is a real looking, weird looking face. Uh, Dixie presets from Nuka World. Usable synth eyes for the uh, male only. Prettier Scarlet, if anyone wants uh, Scarlet's looks to be overhauled, even though you can't do shit with her. Uh, Magnolia, be uh, more beautiful Magnolia, the singer obviously. And just two screenshots. An improvement to Irma in the memory den. Again, it says recommending installing Eyes of Beauty as well, but I seem to remember Eyes of Beauty is a mod that you can't get on the PlayStation 4. So these are mods that have been carried over basically from uh, Xbone and PC. Cages overhauled. Uh, mi mili militarized Minutemen. Make the Minutemen wear army clothing and use appropriate equipment, keeping while keeping their hats to distinguish them from gunners, adds a Mr. Gutsy to patrols and will make some of them wear T60 armor. Uh, overpowered companions for DLC, uh, requires the DLC for Automatron, Far Harbor, and Nuka World. This gives every non robot companion uh, every damage related perk at max rank rifleman, heavy gunner, etc. 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 Ah, damn. 
It also improves their accuracy significantly, gives them infinite ammo, unbreakable PA and no fall damage. It also modifies all of their outfits to have, the, uh, to have a damage resistance equal to Ballistic Weave, Mark V, minus Deacon and Curie. In some situations these guys might be able to show up in a gunfight as well. And just the overpowered companions uh, for like non-DLC users. Uh, companion combat overhaul. <laughs> Dunder Mifflin is basically a workspace based on the office. Not sure if that's the office UK or the office America, but either way. Uh, companion combat overhaul. Brotherhood settlement guards. Railroad settlement guards. Actually, I'm kind of curious about this just to see what it is because uh, some of these settlements really do need a bit more protection instead of you having to do everything all the time and run back every time uh, this is the last of his guards mods there are seven seven craftable brotherhood guards they are uh, brotherhood guard with power armor and minigun guard with power armor and assault rifle uh, brotherhood guard with power armor and gatling la laser and rinse and repeat power armor and laser rifle a male scribe guard a female scribe Guard, a Brotherhood Squire, this guard is essential since he is a child. Uh, each require two adhesive, five fiber optics, and five steel to craft. And they can be found in the structures miscellaneous tab. They stand near where they are spawned. Also, they can be rotated, stored in a workshop. If the enemy attacks, they'll leave their post to fight. What? So basically, the games added the ability to make humans. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued. I will add this to a future mod, even if I end up uninstalling it afterwards. But uh, I'm gonna try that one. I'm gonna try this rail yard one. Rail road, fucking hell. Railroad settlement guards. I'm uh, gonna, yeah, they are indeed craftable humans that you can actually do so this must be where some of the some of these people have figured out a way to bring back uh, Nora as a sin uh, Nora being your spouse at the start of the game uh, this mod adds crossable railroad settlement guards etc again same as the last one and Minutemen guards as well you can spawn in again add that to favorites Android abilities Synth Settlement Guards, here we go, this is getting more to the thing. If you want to have Synth Settlement Terminator-like guards all over your settlement, then this one might be for you. I'm, I'm going to actually download this one, because this one might be fun for one of these settlement ideas that I've actually had. I won't give you too much information yet, you'll see it on the videos. Uh, I, uh, to be fair, I do tend to use a lot of the helmeted Synth armor on my... Uh, my regular uh, regular uh, uh, patrollers not necessarily to make them look like a synth but to make them look like another movie franchise trooper <laughs> to say the least adding to the fact that I've also just downloaded something that looks like a lightsaber and that pretty much shows you the, the, the direction I'm heading with one of my settlements uh, zombie hunter presets to buy this mod Jerry the Hexa presets, Veteran Preston, uh, KMZ Ventures, no DLC, oh, uh, I have actually downloaded this one, uh, but no, this one I've put onto favourites just in case I need it, I've got the regular version at the moment because I must not, I, I, I didn't see that one so much later, just basically any vendor who you don't encounter, uh, oh, do you know what thing there, any vendor that you encounter in Good Neighbor in uh, DC, uh, Diamond City or anything like that, the vendors will have a massive amount of money uh, and they'll have like loads of goods on them as well. Uh, so if you're carrying a load of stuff that you want to dump and you reach the point where they've run out of money and you've got to wait 24 hours, 48 hours or whatever to sell all the rest of your stuff off if you're over encumbered or if you haven't got any carry weight like mods on. Uh, then this is a good one to have because you can literally sell everything that you need and pick up tons of ammo as well at the same time. Uh, killable craft, killable tough Preston Garvey. Uh, superb settlers. 
no add-ons needed. If you have any add-ons, uh, there is an updated version for add-ons. Uh, completely overhauled the settlers of Commonwealth. He has set up the settlers to be more fitting the Commonwealth of those who mean settlers. That should be completely useless. What? They have new gear set. They have new gear set up with a lot, a lot of different combinations. Some with upgraded gear. You can even get settlers in power armor if you are lucky. Uh, there has been set up level lists so that the settlers have different levels ranking from 5 to 150 depending on your level and if you're lucky enough you might even get some at the same level as you these will go higher than level 150 it's quite a good chance to spawn settlers as an epic settler now your settlement should be safe okay fair enough uh, brotherhood of steel settlers young mama murphy clean and smooth country uh, country crossing sorry obey me an improvement to perk okay it's not really a character mod charles overhaul nuka world patch and charles overhaul for far harbor companion overhaul no power damage no no power armor and infinite ammunition uh like the title already says the mod will change the behavior of all 10 human companions base game only so that they can use infinite number of ammunitions given by the player and that the power armor pieces that they wear can't break so yeah if you've ever handed piper or kate or any of the uh, uh, followers who you tend to go around with and then all of a sudden you notice that they've switched back to, to their uh, default uh, weapon in the middle of a gunfight when they already had something decent probably because they've run out of ammunition even though you probably already dumped like 10,000 bloody rounds on them, then uh, this one is for you. Uh, Kate looks cuter, no soul survivor. That is not Kate, that is the player character. Okay. Ah, oh, it's a preset, sorry. Yeah, I do apologize. I just couldn't see the rest of the title on there. Piper is done. Do not use. Okay. Silent sniper preset for. Anyone who wants a rather shady looking version of Quiet out of Metal Gear Solid. Uh, Poisonous Serpent preset. No smoking signs. Curious. If you like this mod, please rate it up. Blah, blah, blah. This mod removes almost all instances of smoking and tobacco products from Fallout 4. It is designed at the request of people who don't want these products to be part of their experience. Oh, get a grip. I'm sorry, but as a smoker myself, uh, I should be more biased there, but if you can't handle the fact that the cigarettes in the game, you're not actually smoking them, for Christ's sake. And so it's just one of the things that really gets my goat is that even if kids are playing the game just because they pick up a, and scrap a pack of cigarettes doesn't mean they're going to start smoking. Random character changes. Kate looks cuter, law friendly. That one does actually look pretty good. Until you see some of the other pictures. That one looks maybe makes it look a bit better to be honest. Than that one. Even way. Uh Kate looks cuter again, even though to be fair that doesn't look like Kate, that looks like Piper. But okay. Charles Overhaul the Tomatron patch. Minutemen Commando Overhaul. Charles Overhaul for PlayStation 4 again. Batters, uh, a Diamond City is the biggest city in the Commonwealth. It's supposed to be the hub of trade, and a lot is missing for the city. They're fixed right now for Diamond City rehired town's requisition manager. Meet Libby at the entrance of Diamond City. Also, Diamond City has Diamond City got trained dogs and salvaged robots to make to help with its defense. Uh, this mod adds dogs, robots, and female guards to Diamond City security. This mod also adds a new vendor at the entrance of Diamond City who can offer city resources. Uh, add vendor to junkyard and expanded Diamond City security perimeter. Uh, bear in mind this mod will probably clash if you've got DC Glory, uh, which I have. That is one of the mods I am currently using, and it is very good. Uh, you barely even recognize like most of the areas within Diamond City. Uh, Seraph Cyberware. 
uh, adds an escaped institute scientist, Dr. Jordan Wiseman, to the back room of the memory den, uh, who has the ability to create and graft cyberware. Uh, emerge, emerging of man and machine. The purchase of the instruction manual grants the augments. Current augments, night vision, night vision activated in pit boy under armor, does not take an equipment slot. Huge shout out to, okay. Uh, targeting, color coded activated when weapon is drawn, red bad guy, uh, blue for good. So you can see there's a lot of bad guys in uh, good neighbor. Uh, night vision, been uh, targeted. Uh, Biofitter, filter even, uh, medical pump, poison, uh, for, for poison resist, uh, resisting, reflexes, slows time while aiming, swinging uh, with melee, RRS, long enhancement, increases sprinting distance and how long you can hold your breath on the water and while zooming in with a scope, uh, subdermal planting, small ballistic plates inserted under the skin, increases armor and reduces incoming, basically it's just a bit of a cheat mod to give you your character a little bit extra thing. I don't think it's going to be anything physical uh, on your outside of your character. It's just a neat little way to include some extra modifications to your character after you've already done everything else. Uh, TC Mama Murphy upgrade. Uh, Minutemen make... Oh, the Minutemen making the Commonwealth. Great again. The Minutemen overhaul. Okay. Restored contents, dirty player. If you want your character to, you ain't got no uh, alibi. You're dirty. Okay. So if you want your character to deliberately look filthy, then there you go. For continue. Okay. Uh, Kill Yun and Marcy Long, <laughs> Mama Murphy, as well. So it makes them non-essential. So you can't actually kill them now. Uh, wasteland waste training. Really enjoy the current curvy and buff mod by Random Encounter so much so that it was inspired to mess around with the creation kit and see what it was. Uh, for folks that don't have access to the creation kits, uh, what you're basically five sliders that control the body morph values that go all the way from one to minus one: head, upper body, uh, upper torso, arms, lower torso, and legs. Uh, this mod is a result of cranking everything except from head and lower torso up to a maximum and cranking lower torso all the way down to the minimum. He did this for his own per, uh, personal taste before he'd share it anyway. Okay, unfortunately there's no screenshots apart from that one. Uh, it makes you look like you've got like a JLO but uh, secluded, the player bunker. Exotic enemies, NPC changes. Clean and smooth the slog, Inquisitor's hood for request. Clean and smooth green top nursery. Player height, shorter. Uh, Glory's Grave, uh, Be Tall, something or other, or, oh, Be Tall, or for all DLC, uh, average, basically makes you taller than uh, every other character in the game. Be Smaller than the regular Wastelander, makes you shorter if you want to uh, mess around with day heights. Uh, Settler Sandbox edition, Expansion, Fire Support Bug Fix, Beta Child Settlers, Kids of the Commonwealth, uh, Weapons and Armour, Tuning with Better, uh, Girl Settlers have Hair, Be Small again, Father More Accurate Name, Spoilers. Okay, so basically it changes Father's name to Sean, for those who haven't uh, already done it, about which time I suppose, why not. Overpowered dog meat, Sam the mole, mat, mole rat, uh, the wasteland mouse, NPC height adjustment for PlayStation 4. Ah, and that's it. So basically, yeah, that's pretty much the same one as that B small or whatever it was called. Uh, if you're playing Fallout 4, give a complex, uh, give yourself a Napoleon complex. Are you tired of counting the nose hairs in every NPC you meet in the Commonwealth? This mod is for you. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to end the video here because I am approaching the 30 minute window. I should just set them to like an hour so I don't have to mess around with the uh, the 
uh, time scale on it every time. So if the start of this video has been cut off uh, like it was last week, I do apologize. Uh, and I do apologize for having to speed through it. I'm just trying to keep a conscious eye on the time. So thank you very much. Don't forget to leave a like, please. Uh, and thank you again for all the support. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and I'll be back next week with the latest mods. See you later.